Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The topic before us today is that this house believes that the media has become too powerful. And me, Vidhan Bhaiya, I'm not only against the motion, but I vehemently oppose it. It's become fashionable now to say that we are slipping into a world that is that that has been taken over the, by the media and how the media is bad and the media is doing this and that. But no, I, the topic before us is whether the media has become too powerful. I agree that the media is powerful, but I will explain to you in three main reasons how the media has not become too powerful. Firstly, the media uplifts society. It talks about issues that everybody wants to talk about, but is not able to talk about because they are afraid of the consequences and only the media is powerful enough to handle those consequences. So media is just speaking about whatever everybody wants to talk about and it's only uplifting and bringing people's opinions and voices to light. And that is why the media is, is a crucial linchpin to the concept of democracy as a whole. Thomas Jefferson immortalized the role of the free press in these lines. He said that the free press is very important to our liberty and any, any, any reason to limit it would only result in it being lost, all right? Secondly, it is the media's duty to act as watchdogs to ensure that governments, companies, and people can be held responsible for their actions. Thus, the media has a very powerful role to play in society. Okay, so without the media, cases such as the disproportionate assets case, jailing India is one of India's most powerful industrialists, and uh, or the 2009 leak of the expenses of the MPs in the UK Parliament would never have been brought about. And any further regulation in the name of controlling potential defamation in these cases would have resulted in these cases not coming to light. And thus, all of these treacherous acts would go about as normal and they would go around unchecked. Thirdly, the people are not stupid, okay? People are able to realize the difference between what is the artistic use of language to make text interesting and what is hard facts presented within the news article. So although news and mass media have a massive role to play in uh, forming society's opinions, more often than not, it is just reflecting society as a whole. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the 17th and 18th century, the concept of free press originated in England and France. Writers like Voltaire, Rousseau, and Thomas Paine were able to make great use of the powerful media to bring about powerful social revolutions. Just why would we want to restrict that change? Ladies and gentlemen, Media is the fourth pillar of democracy. It cannot be anything less than powerful. Thank you.